Hey what's up pretty people, hope you are doing well. I am Shivashi Zatan, welcome you to my channel and today I will be showing you how to create a see-through text effect using Adobe Photoshop. Now this kind of text effect are really very trendy if you are into graphic designing or maybe you are creating something for your websites or for social media purpose because this kind of text effect are very eye-catching and pops out of the screen. So we'll be working on this image now first things first we have to create the text right so I will be going to the file and then go to new and from here I will be opening a document now I'm going to select a 1920 into 100 pixel document because you know it's a standard to go for now we have it let's make a layer of the background and now we will be writing a text on this layer so you can write anything like first let me bring it in the middle so that you can see um, all right so I'm going to write background yes um, maybe I'll just increase the text size yeah it looks good so what we are going to do is at first uh, I'm going to hold control and select this background and the background copy layer I mean the text layer and the background copy layer right click on them and merge them basically so we have this um, we don't need this layer anymore so basically we have this uh, texted image over here now we are going to select this uh, letters that uh, are in black and for the best option to select them is to go to this uh, magic wand tool so what magic wand tool basically do is it selects on the basis of flat colors and as you can see the only two colors that we have over here is white and black so I think it would work just fine so click on them and as you can see that uh, they have made a selection all around the edges of the document and also on the letters now we want to restrict this uh, selection only to this background letters also as you can see that uh, most of the inside edges of the letters are not selected so to select them what we have to do is just hold shift and just click on them that's it hold shift and click on them yeah so now we what we're going to do is we just want this background letters to be selected and for that what we're going to do is I'm just going to come to this uh, other selection maybe lasso tool it doesn't matter and just come here uh, right click and go to select inverse now as you can see only the background letters are selected now with that being selected just click on backspace and our letter areas are totally deleted how you can ensure that they are deleted just come over here uh, select a solid color adjustment layer and uh, if you could just bring it down the background then you can see so uh, we have just this uh, background text layer on it and now we will just be adding our picture uh, in position of this uh, you know this layer and we will have our effect so for that what I'm going to do is just go to this move tool by pressing V and just drag and drop it over here now just I'm going to control T hold shift and alt and just uh, yeah and that's it maybe you maybe you wanna crop the background image to the size of this uh, document that we have do whatever you have to because our main work is done so as you can see um, this was uh, before adding our text and uh, this is the after now what we can do is you can stylize this uh, uh, image much more by you know removing the extra white portions from this uh, our text layer so for that what we're going to do is we're going to mask this for that um, just uh, go and select any one of these like I'm going to choose polygonal lasso tool um, maybe we want just uh, this portion of this text so just click over here hold shift for a straight line and uh, remove the neck and just remove the rest and just click on the masking option uh, we have this now hold control i and we have this repeat the same thing just uh, click over here 
go for a straight click um maybe i want to go up straight just select this extras and uh, we will be good to go now with it being selected um you can just uh, go to this you know eraser tool and just uh, rub it from here or you can uh, follow this process of using masking anything you want and uh, you have this ready it looks much more stylish that way and uh, perfect to use for your websites or for graphic designing and for almost anything or any way you want so now our basic effect is done now what we can do is to create a difference between the background and our text layer what we can do is we can create a drop shadow effect for our text for that all you have to do is go to the right hand side of our text layer and from there double click and a layer style dialog box will open from there go to drop shadow here from the settings to adjust the opacity distance spread size and whatever there are and uh, to get a decent shadow for your text and that's it so that's it for today guys hope you've enjoyed this video and found this video helpful now if you did don't forget to leave one of these below the video do comment share with your friends and please do subscribe to this channel because it means a world to me and i'll be meeting you on my next video till then take care bye